Did Taylor Swift get Kanye West kicked out of the Super Bowl? That's the reporting slash rumor that's going around. So we thought we'd shed a little light on how we got here and why it's a big deal. I'm your host, Chris Thompson, and this is an IRL Media News Hot Take. Let's get into it. It turns out Kanye West showed up at the Super Bowl on Sunday, February 4th, 2024, with tickets he bought for he and his wife, Bianca Sensori, just in front of the suite that Travis Kelsey rented for his and girlfriend Taylor Swift's family and friends. Kanye being Kanye has supposedly hatched a diabolical, self-serving, egotistical plan to sit in front of Taylor Swift so every time the cameras cut to her, he'd be on TV. Genius plan, right? Nope. You see, Kanye West showed up wearing a full face covering, a vintage Alexander McQueen mask from the designer's fall 1996 Dante collection, but with a special added piece of flair from Kanye West himself, a three-dimensional white crucifix between his eyes. I'll pause while you try and make a sense of that last sentence. Don't even try to understand what Kanye West must have been thinking. There's not enough time in the world to waste trying to figure that out. Best guess is that Kanye West was somehow trying to honor the late Alexander McQueen with Sunday, February 4th, 2024, marking the 14th anniversary of the epic fashion designer's death. We won't go into all the ways that Kanye West could have chosen to honor someone he looked up to. We'll just stick to the facts that Kanye West showed up to the Super Bowl wearing a full face mask with a three-dimensional white crucifix between his eyes and sat in front of the suite that Taylor Swift was sitting in, hoping to get shown on TV to get attention in what turned out to be the most watched Super Bowl of all time, with 123.4 million people tuning in to watch the Kansas City Chiefs come back in the second half and beat the San Francisco 49ers. But this isn't the first time there's been drama between Taylor Swift and Kanye West. To really understand the psychological mess that is Kanye West, we need to go back to a far simpler time when Kanye West was at the top of his game and Taylor Swift was just starting a rise to mega stardom. Let me set the scene for you. It was September 13th, 2009, and people from all walks of life, including musicians, artists, athletes, and the press were gathered together at Radio City Music Hall in New York City to watch the MTV Video Music Awards. Taylor Swift had been nominated for Best Female Video for her song, You Belong With Me, along with a who's who of amazing female arts, including Beyonce for her song, Single Ladies, Put A Ring On It, Kelly Clarkson for My Life Was Suck Without You, Lady Gaga for Poker Face, Katy Perry for Hot and Cold, and Pink for So What? And you already know who won the award. As Taylor Swift got up on the stage to accept her Moon Man Award for Best Female Video for her song You Belong to Me, she began her acceptance speech when Kanye West jumped on the stage, took the microphone, and interrupted Taylor Swift to say, Yo, Taylor, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish, but Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. That interruption would go down in history as the beginning of the feud between Taylor Swift and Kanye West. Think about how egotistical Kanye West came off as when a man who had no business being on stage said, I'm gonna let you finish. Let Taylor Swift finish? As if Kanye West had the power to let a female artist who had just won an award for best female video finish her own acceptance speech? Man, nothing gets me more upset than thinking about that line. After the whole thing went down, in an interview, Taylor Swift told reporters, quote, I was standing on stage and I was really excited because I had just won the award and then I was really excited because Kanye West was on stage and then I wasn't excited anymore after that. You see, this is how an intelligent, mature woman handles business when a man-child like Kanye West disrespects a female artist all so he can get more attention from his temper tantrum. A day later, on September 14th, 2009, on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, Kanye West addressed why he interrupted Taylor Swift at the MTV Video Music Awards saying, I would immediately knew in the situation that it was wrong and it was a spectacle. Later, on the talk show Ellen, Kanye West said he interrupted Taylor Swift out of a mixture of, quote, sincerity and alcohol, and said, quote, it's actually someone's emotions that I stepped on. It was very, it was rude, period. I'd like to be able to apologize to her in person, end quote. On September 15, 2009, Taylor Swift revealed in an interview with ABC Radio that Kanye West actually called her to apologize, saying, Kanye West did call me. He was very sincere in his apology, and I accepted that apology. She went on to say, quote, the support I got from other artists and from fans and so many people sticking up for me, that's what got me to the place where I could accept that apology. And I'm just very thankful that everyone showed me so much love. Now that's how a strong woman handles business. She rose above the drama of Kanye and began putting this bizarre episode behind her. Years later, on June 16th, 2013, Kanye West began shooting his mouth off again and said he took back his apology to Taylor Swift, saying to the New York Times, I don't have one regret. 
if anyone's reading this waiting for some full-on flat apology or anything, then they should stop reading this right now. I have, as a human being, fallen to peer pressure. So it was at this point that we knew that Kanye West's apology to Taylor Swift wasn't genuine and was probably the work of his public relations team. I guess that just goes to show what kind of a quote man Kanye West is. That he couldn't even sincerely recognize the hurt he caused Taylor Swift and even the damage he did to his own career in that moment. Now, fast forward 15 years, and Taylor Swift is at the Super Bowl with her friends and family to watch her boyfriend, tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs, Travis Kelsey, play football. In walks Kanye West with a black mask that has a three-dimensional white crucifix between his eyes and sits down in front of Taylor Swift, a woman who he has disrespected repeatedly over the years. Full stop. Who does that? To reiterate, we don't know the exact reason that Kanye West was asked to leave the Super Bowl, but what is known is the fact that he and his wife, Bianca Sensori, who looks a lot like his ex-wife, Kim Kardashian, left the Super Bowl early. Strange story, but sadly, I wasn't even surprised when I read about it. It seems like just another day of drama for Kanye West these days. So what do you think? Do you think Taylor Swift had her people get Kanye West removed from the Super Bowl because he sat down in front of her suite? Do you think it was wrong for Kanye West to try and get some publicity by wearing the odd, full-face mask with a three-dimensional white crucifix between his eyes? Or do you think security of the Super Bowl decided on their own to kick out a person they found wearing a full-face mask who was causing a scene only to discover that it was Kanye West after the fact? Let us know in the comments down below. If you like this video, do me a solid and smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks. I'm your host, Chris Thompson, and this has been an IRL Media News Hot Take.